Hello, Saxon564 here with another IRC scripting tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going over if then statements, which are used to determine when something should happen and exactly what should happen. So, to get started with that, we'll I'll put it in here on join if Nick a double equals me and I know this is a new one I have not shown this before dollar sign me uses your name and then all you have to do is open that in fact we're going to fiddle so there we go we'll change that is not equals to which is exclamation point equal sign and then we'll close it right there and then if we leave that room and then slash join Saxon tutorial if I can spell that right um, T U T O R I A L there we go now it doesn't tell it doesn't give the welcome message like it did right here right here it says welcome bot tutorial to Hashtag sax Saxon tutorial. Sorry about that. But this time it didn't. Because what what this is doing is it's checking the person who joined and it's making sure that the name of that person is not equal to the name of the user. So in this case, to make sure whoever joined is not the bot. And you can do that for pretty much anything. If Nick does not equal me, and it's always a good idea to put this in these areas so you avoid stray, stray messages that shouldn't really be there. There we go. So if you look right here, it says hashtag Chan by and it says Chan no such Nick slash channel. That's because it was look it was sending a quit message, the quit message by or the part message by to the channel in which it left but because it's no longer in a channel it can't do that so I think real quickly one thing will change here well, that would be part of the reason but one thing will change here is have it do Nick but even then it won't message if the bot itself leaves it will no longer do the message so we'll okay it's it is there so doing this makes it a lot easier to decide when something should happen um I'll be in the next episode I'll be going over I'll be modifying the calculator script using these if statements and there are a few I'll teach you there um the primary ones in which I'm going to teach you right here um you've already seen the not equal to there's the normal equal to if Nick equals user but then there's that one this one can be used to set up a password for a channel and if you want the password to be exactly to the capitalization the same 
three equal signs are case sensitive. So if I do um if one equals this and we'll set this message chan hi and now we'll use another thing called an else um message chan no so right right here what an else does is if it pretty much takes this and if it is not that it'll do this so now we'll go over here and just type this the bot says no but if we type this capital T lower case, lower case H capital I lower case S it'll say hi um, that no should not have been said um We'll throw in an if one. I shouldn't need that actually. I don't know why it did that. Did this message. Um, let's try that again. I know. I'm not sure why that's doing that. But if we changed it to that, just equal to, we could ju simply type this, and it should just say hi, and not the no. I don't know, I really don't know why it's doing that. Um... But the else statement isn't supposed to go unless the statement is does not equal true. So pretty much what that what that what this statement right here is doing is it's saying um if the first word equals this then do this. So if true then do this. Otherwise if false do this so there's that um there's also the else if we'll do um one equals that and then if we type this that um, something's going on here. Else unknown command. What? I don't know how that's an unknown command. It doesn't make sense that that would be an unknown command. Um, just a second here. Okay, let's try doing this. And then there we go okay that was a bit weird um but now it's working so if one equals this 
then it'll only say hi. Otherwise, it'll say no, which is shown right here. So I put this, and it responded hi. But if I put, say, that, it'll say no. Now there's else if, which I'm going to do this. And then this one should actually work. Then we'll add another else here. Message Chan. Neither any I. Neither of those words are actually that word is not a keyword. So now, if we type this, that, hi, there we go. So this, it says hi, that, it says no, and if I say hi, this is not a keyword. So when I type this, this line returns true, so it says this and skips the rest. But when I type that, this line returns false, so it checks this line, that returns true, so it messages no, but if I put anything else, this line and this line return false so it'll do so it'll just do this line now one thing that you could do we'll just erase that if one equals high yep, high and then what you can do is, if two um, does not equal me, and then we can do MSG Chan. Um, Thanks for not saying hi to me. And then we close both of those. Now if we just do hi, the bot says thanks for not saying hi to me. Um, we'll throw an else statement right here. And then do message Chan. Hi, Nick. Um, how are you? And I think we need that. There we go. Then we'll do. Hi, bot tutorial. Then it says, Hi, Saxon 564, how are you? So now that, so now we've got that. Um, and some other things you can use is there's Usually these would be used like if Nick is up on Chan. So what that does is it checks if the person using the command is an operator on that channel. And then if they if it returns true that they are, they can use that command. If it returns false, you can use an else statement to say only an op can use this command or anything like that. 
you can also use um, is on to make sure that they're actually on the channel is a job so half up um voice if they're a voice on the channel um and there's a few others I'll link in the I'll give a link in the description what others there are for you to take a look at but I think that'll be the end of this today. Um, one last thing is if you have multiple if statements you need to run, you can simply do if one equals high um, message Shane, hi, Nick, and then if one equals yes, message Shane, yes to what? So what that's going to do is it'll read only one line. If the first word is hi, it'll only do this command. Any command you have after that, it'll just do no matter whether this is true or false. And it's the same with this one. So if we do hi, it says hi section 564, and then yes, yes to what? But if we put no, it won't respond to anything. So we'll just add a quick command message Chan. Um, what was that, Nick? And then we'll put a no in again, and it says, What was that, Saxon 564? So that is going to be it for today. Um, obviously this was a longer tutorial. I didn't even really cover half of what you can do with ifs, but I'll be covering some more in the next episode when we do some work on the calculator script. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a like or and comment and let me know what you guys liked. Um, for the end of this series, I would like to do a large game, and I want to know what you guys, what game you guys would like to see me make, and I'll do my best to make them. So, leave a comment in, leave a comment below on what game you'd like to see. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!